Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known with the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. In today's Eucharistic celebration, our Mass presider is Reverend Father Vincent Ray Bahian SVD. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God, and to, and to you, you, my brothers God. and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in, and in what, what I have I failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house that you have brought me to this point? Yet, even this you see as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. These too you have shown to men, Lord God. You have established for yourself 
your people Israel, as yours forever. And you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house, and do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, The Lord of hosts is God of Israel, and the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore, your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then, bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, and by your blessing, the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise for which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring, I will set upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. We honor the Holy Gospel. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is the lamp brought in to be placed under a basil basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what, what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. And to the one who has, more will be given. 
from the one who has not even what he has will be taken away mother brothers and sisters the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ good evening mother brothers and sisters in christ when i read the gospel since last night i keep on repeating this one because this is one of my favorite gospels coming from mark there are many angles that we could see here from that gospel but uh, i would like to focus on the on the especially on the talent this morning uh, I, i arrived from cebu to manila of course and you know in cebu this is very typical not only in cebu but also in the visayas and mindanao there you could see many disabled persons no who are also sharing their talents unveiling their talents despite their disabilities or their being disabled they can show a talent some show their talents uh, in music for example even if they are blind some are doing massage some there are many actually some are playing instruments and there is also a very famous la, uh, word or i don't know this an anecdote in the vow they said kahit saan mo itatago ang durian aamoy at aamoy talaga yan and true enough when i was a seminarian in davao way back 2007 one of my classmates nagtago siya nag durian iyang gilubong sa yut uh, in, in, binaon po niya sa lupa and then nung nahinog po yung durian talagang pagdumaan ka lang doon maaamoy mo na kahit saan mo itatago ang durian kahit ilibing mo pa sa lupa yan po ay aamoy why i'm saying this It's because it's very much related to the gospel for today. A light. That even if the light or itong kandila na ito or itong lamp na ito, if we hide this one, it will always unveil the light in itself. In other words, we have all our talents in life. All of us, we have our own talents. But If we keep on hiding these talents, nothing will be unveiled. Nothing will will benefit on that talent. You know, our gospel for today is very nice because the light. Look at look at look at this light, for example. This is actually a representation of Jesus, the light. No, why? Because Mark in this in this chapter four unveils the true nature of Jesus. On what is that? The messianic secret of Jesus. That He is the Son of God. And He is the only Son of God who can save us from slavery to sin. And it is also Mark who slowly unveils the nature of Christ. A Savior. A light to the world. And so, my brothers and sisters, Look at the light. Sometimes we are also like lamps. We do not allow ourselves to be lighted. We do not allow the Holy Spirit to work in us. By virtue of baptism, we share the mission of Christ. And by virtue of baptism, we also receive not only cleansing from our sinfulness, we We did not only receive, uh, or we are not only saved from that slavery to sin, but we also receive the Spirit of Christ. John the Baptist, when he baptizes, he used water to cleanse us from from that sinfulness. But Jesus baptizes us with the Holy Spirit, because it is the Holy Spirit that will work in us. And so, my dear brothers and sisters. The gospel for today is challenging us. 
by allowing ourselves to be worked by the Holy Spirit. Let us allow our, our, ourselves, let us allow the Holy Spirit to work in us so that whatever we have, the talents that we have, we could share it. We could unveil, we could unfold our person, our spirit in us. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us offer in this Holy Mass, in this Novena, that may the Holy Spirit also work in us, not only today, but every day, so that we could also be witnesses of that light, which is Jesus. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all praise, and for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he has justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio Tagli, our Bishop, Cardinal, and bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold, it is Jesus, the light of the world. Behold Him. He is the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion shall be done row by row. Thank you.
Please kneel and let us pray the Oracho Imperata against the spread of coronavirus. All together, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace and for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the, the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. And of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be stored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for all the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saint Jude Tadeus. Please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Short announcement. The Philippine National Red Cross, in cooperation with the National Shrine of St. Judeus, is conducting a bloodletting activity due to their nearly depleted blood bank reserve. They are in our parish today, January 30, 2020, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Everyone is encouraged to donate blood. The blood you give can help save a life. We now pray the prayer of St. Gertrude, prayer for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, Father, we offer you the, the most precious body and blood of your Obvious divine Son, Jesus, Jesus, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families, in Jesus' name, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please kneel. turn to page 15. We invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of thy Holy Spirit, Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in His holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 16, the Epistle of St. Jude, verse 3. I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. O my Redeemer, has the terrible hour come upon us, in which there remain but few Christians animated by the spirit of faith, that moment in which thy just wrath will withdraw thy protection from us, have the vices, the evil habits of our age, at last irrevocably move the justice to vengeance? We treat thee in the bitterness of a contrite heart not to permit the beautiful light of faith to be extinguished in us. Recall thy former mercies, cast a compassionate glance on the vine, which thou hast planted the light hand with uh, uh, <coughs> irrigate uh, thousands, thousands of martyrs, and by the tears of so many noble penitents and of divine bed prayers, so many innocent confessors and Divine Mediator, look upon those zealous souls who are raising themselves incessantly to Thee. Pray for the support of our most precious treasure, the true faith. Arrest, O just God, the sentence of our rejection. Turn away the glance from our vices and fix it on the adorable blood which purchased our salvation when shed on the cross and daily begs it for us on our altars. We resist thee with faith. Sin afflicts us, his appointments consume us, misfortunes oppress us, but preserve thy holy faith in us, because enriched with this precious gift, we will will nothing altered or happiness. On the contrary, without the supreme treasure of faith, our misfortune will be unspeakable and immense. O oh, good Jesus, author of our faith preserve it pure in us keep us firm in the bark of peter faithful and obedient to his successor and a vicar here on earth so that the unity of holy church may be preserved sanctity promoted the apostolic see free and protected and the universal church extended for the benefit of souls oh jesus author of our faith humble and convert to enemies of the Holy Church, grant peace and true unity to all Christian kings and princes, and to all that faithful, strengthen and support us for thy holy service, so that we may live for thee and die in thee. 
O Jesus, author of our faith, for thee I live, and for thee I die. Amen. Please turn to page 37, Novena Prayers. O glorious Apostle, St. Jude Thaddeus, to relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute thee through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon thee. Humbly prostrate before thee, I implore thee through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To thee, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life, I will be grateful to thee and will be thy faithful client until I can thank thee in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before, before death, death we, we may expiate all our sins, sins by sincere repentance, repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray, pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, Saint Jude Thaddeus, Faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered thy beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused thee to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes thee universally as the patron of hopeless cases and all things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore thee, of that particular privilege accorded to thee to bring visible and speedy help, where help is almost despaired of. Come to assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly. and that I may bless God with thee and all the elect forever. I promise thee, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor thee as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to thee. Amen. Saint Jude Thaddeus, pray for us. And for all who invoke thy aid. Let us pray. O Saint Jude Thaddeus, the relative of Jesus Christ, the glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for their virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor thee and trust in thee, thou art a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to thee and entreat thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with a powerful intercession. For thou hast received from God the privilege to assist to in a manifest help. Those who almost despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are soon with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from thee until thou hast heard me. O hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon thee and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. Saint Jude Thaddeus, pray for us. And for all who invoke thy aid. O my God, 
I firmly believe that thou art really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore thee here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship thy sacred presence with all possible humility. O my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O Lord, that I, having adored thy divine majesty, here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We pray the prayer intention for evangelization by the Church and the Holy Father for the promotion of world peace. That Christians, followers of other religions, and all people of goodwill may promote peace and justice in the world. We also pray for the following intentions. For God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude Thaddeus and St. Jude Catholic School. For more vocations to the priestly and religious life. And for board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations. And all devotees whose petitions we now lift up to our Heavenly Father. May the Lord graciously bless them in every way. Keep them in His abiding love and increase their faith and answer to their prayers. Together with our personal intentions, through the constant intercession of our beloved patron, St. Jude Thaddeus, we all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Given them bread from heaven, containing in itself all the light. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray, O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion. Grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood. As always, be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You have lived and reigned forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus Christ, Christ through God and through men. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be His most sacred heart. heart. Blessed, Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant, and Almighty and eternal, eternal God, God everlasting, everlasting health to those who believe. believe. Hear, Hear us for thy sake, for whom we implore the aid of thy tender mercy, mercy that, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to thee in thy church. Through Christ our Lord, amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of His holy Apostle, Jude Thaddeus, and all His saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Blessing of religious articles, please raise them. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty Father that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord in His love and mercy cherish and reinforce with His blessing these tokens of your devotion and piety so that you may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody and you may attain eternal life with joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.